So today we are in our local supermarket and again it is a supermarket checkout. And today we want to talk about um, pre-packaged, uh, pre-seasoned meat, pre-seasoned products. And your supermarkets, if you are in a good supermarket, you will find that they will have a section that they pre-season some of the meat um, and prepare it in advance, somewhat semi-prepare. It is raw, but it is pre-seasoned and stuff like that. And that will help you to maximize your time and your efficiency. All right? Uh, some of the meats will have different ingredients, such as curry, some of jerk, some of, you know, um, teriyaki, you know, different stuff like that. And so I wanted to feature some of those. Most island people do not buy pre-seasoned meat, because we do it ourselves. But if you are working in a situation where your time is limited, if you are in a situation where your space is limited, whatever the reasons are, you can maximize your potential with some pre-seasoning. You can use the, the seasoning that they put on it as a basic start, and you can add more ingredients and embellish it as you go along. So make me look for some of the pre-seasoning, all right? What is that right there, babes? This is a piece of pot roast. Um, and it has some carrots and um, onions. Okay. And, it's all and it has seasoned. Marinated. Oh, it's a potato there, you know. It's a potato too. Yeah. Okay. And wow. this looks like a nice piece of steak. This is stuffed flank steak with provolone cheese. Mm -hmm. And it has um, spinach. Yeah. This is a basic T-bone steak and some kebabs. And this is beef kebabs. But mm -hmm. well, you notice this one doesn't have seasoning on it. It's just have the, the vegetables. So you go home and you put your seasoning on it to your taste. Mm -hmm. All right. And see so that young lady there is putting down some salmon. I'm not going to show her face without oh. her permission. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But she's putting down that salmon you're putting down, right? Oh yeah, it's oh, a dinner. A, a salmon okay. dinner. Oh wow, let me see. Yeah. Okay. Put it okay. In the oven. Look at that. Okay. So you just it's cooked in the bag, you just put it in the oven and it is Asian glazed. See there? Thank you. Asian glazed with noodles. Okay? Nice. That's I would awesome. Eat this for dinner. Like, yeah. Seriously. You see that? Nice. Yeah. So that's awesome. But once again, guys, it, it, you can you can maximize your potential. Trust me. Look at you know if you're a meat eater, that is, you know you can utilize this. Put just pop this on the grill or on your your George Foreman. You know this is bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. Mm. See that? So that's a good appetizer. Yep. Or yep. Want. Yep. This is bacon wrapped tenderloin. tenderloin. Over here you have pork tenderloin with mojo salsa. Mm -hmm. You know, and this this local supermarket guys, they really and truly have a quality control that is um, compared to none. Trust me. This is turkey burger. Turkey burger, and this is in-house made turkey burger with mm -hmm. sun-dried tomatoes and, and different things like that in it. That's crazy, right? Ooh, wings. wings. Everybody loves wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what you know? Take up the one day. Jerk the big dog. That's jerk, jerk chicken, guys. Like quarters, jerk. And this is awesome. And as you can that. see, as you can see, they're inside there as it is now, prepping a lot of the ingredients, you know. And so you don't have to worry if it is quickly, if it is um something that is good, yes or no. So yeah, guys, uh, this is an awesome, excellent, you know method of getting rid of the whole food prep um, struggle yeah. and sometimes we end up eating the same thing because we, we don't have the time and it's some people are not creative and sometimes we just stick to the same thing over and over again so this is a great way to add variety you know? and if you're not a meat lover there is vegetarian options that they have as well mm -hmm. if you're not like meat and you want to try for a vegetarian meal prep they also provide that it's maybe more limited but it is something that you can get as well um, and it starts with as simple as a, a, a salad you know where it's a complete salad and you can you know just pretty much throw it out in a, in a container and add stuff 
Yeah. You must even have to add some of the stuff. Yeah, sometimes you can. Like if it's a basic salad and you decide that you want some protein. Yeah, but they also make they complete add. salads. Well, yeah, they do. Oh, yes. Yes, it's true. If you want to add protein like chicken tenders mm -hmm. or, or beef or pork. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is a wide variety of salads, guys, that you can choose. You have Asian, you have salt, wins, you have the sweet ones, you have a variety. And in different different um, brands, flavors, mm -hmm. look at this one, bacon blue, chipotle cheddar, mm -hmm. sunflower crisp, and, and these are complete salad now. These are the ones that they come with the dressing, they come with the, the nuts, they yeah. come with bacon bits, mm -hmm. whatever you so choose. Right you can um, select from these and those and and then you have these that are salad mixes that you add your you know whatever else you want to them and you know what though mm -hmm. sometimes people are trying to go healthy but then they realize that it's kind of expensive because you're trying to buy the pre-made ones from you know the restaurants and stuff mm -hmm. like eight dollars and for a salad it's the same thing just buy this Put it in your cooler, carry it to work, put it in your, your company fridge, and you have lunch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna look at again at some of the others now now you know you have the generic brands that are that belongs to the the supermarket that is selling them and these are usually cheaper these usually go for a, a, a more discounted price but then some supermarkets will give you specials where you can buy a salad if you eat more if you eat salad more than one time for the week for instance it would be good to buy the salad when it's on special you know so you can grab that and make use then you have your salad dressings and those are also good now for as a rule i would recommend if you do have salad dressing that you only use the salad dressing that is on the fridge and let me tell you why i said that the ones that are not on the fridge have more preservative okay when when you buy a salad dressing and it's not on the fridge it means therefore them have a whole leap of preservative in it to keep it mm. on, a, on a regular shelf longer but salad dressing such as these that have to be refrigerated are usually more um you know more more wholesome okay. better ingredients and ingredients that is perishable which is important because you're supposed to eat foods that are perishable right, when you don't right. eat foods that are perishable you're putting artificial stuff in your body mm -hmm. so check your salad out you know your flavor your taste and again as a rule of thumb the the creamy salads are less uh healthy right. than the oil based salads okay all right these are most patented. yeah and then also the next thing we're not to check guys we're on the back here so we're not to mm -hmm. check salt content yeah Eat whether salt or sugar salt right. or sugar right. content you have to check them um when you're buying and salad. calories too if you're yeah. trying to watch your yeah. weight all right, let's look at some, some meals. Okay, so we are in the vegan section. So everything in this section is totally vegetable, guys. Totally vegan, whether it be um, authentic um, vegetables or vegetable sourced products. Guacamoles, you know, vegan cheeses and stuff like that and we have this is one of those that i was telling you about meal prep this is steak steakhouse um wedges potato wedges and it comes with a herbed butter and it's pretty much ready to cook you can microwave this for eight minutes and with the butter and everything and you're good to go dinner mm -hmm. it's a meal right there. this also is another way in which some people prep so you have zucchini and yellow squash with bell peppers here and this is pretty much ready to just throw into a saucepan mm -hmm. and you're good to go mm -hmm. uh, they have gone ahead and they have done something like this this is zucchini spiral pesto kit Ooh. and this is zucchini done up like in spirals and they have the ingredients all of the seasoning is here and the sauce is there and you can use those too when you're um, doing your home thing see see them pair the vegetables together mm -hmm. You know, are the veer, uh, carrots, and and broccoli rub, and this is ready. You can microwave this in the back. Now, remember, we are Caribbean people. Some are, some are we are gonna say a lazy thing that, but remember, some people work hard and they right. work hard hours 
and it's difficult. And it's always easier for them to grab something fast. Fast food is not necessary. Well, it's not normally very healthy for you. Right. So they can grab something healthy very fast. Then then that's good. That that's work. That's and better. Here is another very very ingenious um um product. Uh, again, we are not endorsing these because we are paid. We are endorsing them because we want to help people who, you know, may be as busy as we are or, you know, need a little bit of, of, of help in sourcing good quality and wholesome food. This is a, a, a chipotle butter and you have a whole host of different kinds of butter here that you can use to saute up your vegetables. So for instance, if you want, if you feel like you want to go chipotle today, you go chipotle. If you want to go garlic butter, you can go garlic butter. If you want herb butter, and this I think is a brilliant idea. And then each of these, when they're on special, look on this, you can get 10 for 10 for 10 dollar. Yep. So if you buy 10 of these, you have 10 different ways of flavoring your, your, your thing. Now, watch this. You can buy butter and add the ingredients and do it yourself. Make us a telephone now. But if time is your problem, then right. that wouldn't be right. the best option for you. Right. So this is for those persons who have an issue with timing, struggle with, with time and, and, and refining the stuff and putting the stuff together. Sometimes it's not even the time, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes them just don't have ideas. Like we mentioned before. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes it's like the problem. You know, some of them some are laziness. <laughs> I know, right? I'm sure you can find two minutes or a minute to cut up your apples. So, so when I go too bad. Now. So yeah, go too bad. But these are look at these. These are complete salads. Again, some of these have chicken, you know. And we thought here some of are um, vegan, mm -hmm. but some of them have chicken, some have bacon, um, different different stuff like that. Look at these down here. These are salads. Again, you can try complete salads if you want. I prefer the store brand than these brands that are commercial. Not, no problem with them, but why I say I prefer these? Because these are made in-house. Daily? Yeah, daily. These are put together daily and they have an expiration date. And once they, you reach your expiration date, they take them off the shelf. So if you're going to experiment with, with, with uh, complete salads, start with the store brand. And you can also customize it. You can talk to your, your local store rep and they customize the salads for you. So, see, fruits, you can pick fruits, grab and go fruits. You can get fruit salad over there. You can get uh, a vegetable salad over here. And oh, they have dips. These beautifully peeled pines. Why would I peel the pines? They don't come out tonight. Can you not have no machine? No. Oh. again, guys, look on this. Mm. It's a coconut water. <laughs> I don't know about that one there, but I mean, if you're, if you're grabbing and going, might it's as real well. Coconut water. Yeah, real coconut water, then just peel the coconut for you. Mm -hmm. And all you do now is go home and take a knife and, and cut off the top. Mm -hmm. And you're good to go, you know. Over here, you have vegetable kebabs. Yeah. See there? Look at that. Yeah. It's a vegetable kebabs. This, you just go home and put it by your George Foreman grill, and you're good to go. And get a little sauce, or better yet, get the butter where we where, where we did check out down there, so you know, so so that's a good thing. So that's just an idea of what you can find in your local supermarket, as it as it relates to grab and go food, as it relates to complete meals, and if you're in a supermarket where you can talk to staff. If you can interact with, with the people them who work there, yes. not going to the supermarket. Then. You need a supermarket where the people are friendly and willing to help you and assist you um, in your shopping, willing to run go find out a price for you, you know, or, or find an item that you can't find yourself. Exactly. Exactly. So that's our supermarket checkout. We're talking about prepping foods and um, pre prep food rather. Um, and so foods that are that are um, easy grab and go. And I think pre-packed food is a better option to pre-packaged food because pre-packaged foods are usually processed. You know those TV dinners and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Those are somewhat processed. Yeah. So if you can do this option, it takes a little bit longer to cook, but at least you know it's more natural. A little longer is comparable, right? It's a compar it's a, a, a relative word. Okay, a relative term. Right, 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 right. So 
remember to stay tuned. We're going to search again for more interesting supermarket facts. We never show you that there are some stores that will give you also seafood. Yes, pre prep seafood are, are, <laughs> are slightly cooked um, seafood. Um, this is one such supermarket. So make a look real quick on the seafood that they have available. Here we have seafood salad. Yeah. And this has been made in house. Yeah. And it's a, it's a combination of, of crab and, and, and fish. And I think shrimp might be in there. Yeah. Um, if you like seafood that is and also them have tuna salad right here and again if you're a tuna person all you need is some some roll you know and you buy tuna salad if you again if you don't want to make it at home and those are good ways to utilize what they have seafood that is available no one of the good thing about this particular supermarket is whatever seafood that you have here or you find here they can prepare it for you with a steam or whatever whatever and they also provide little punch out cards that you can you know get a, a recipe from yeah and that's important it's very good and there's another roller deck here with seafood as well yeah and meat and everything and you, you just pick up what you want if you want pork chops you pick it up and you can you can go home and prep that you know learn how to cook the pork chops right here all right <laughs> see right here boston butts sea scallops this oh we have we need to we need to take up one of these to make the scallops yeah and then over here look at this they have stuff like crab cakes shrimp they have baby scallops they have different things lobster teal oysters and over here is again back to the pre-prep these are potato seafood potato yeah see them and this is salmon burger and then you have crab that has been um, cleaned from crab and then shrimp and then that and and again guys look at this freshly made um, sushi or Asian food and each of these have a date on them when they have been put out they won't I, I believe that these are uh, taken up every day yeah see that September 18th is on this one so if you want you can try them look at this this is a poke bowl so you can try this is salmon poke bowl and the date on it is September what? see it right 18. here september 18th all right so you can look at these and see that you know you can grab some stuff in your local supermarket right crunchy roll if you're a, if you're a, a, a seafood lover you know and we literally see the person every morning standing every right morning, there making right all here. these um, sushi rolls so you know just make sure that your your, your supermarket that you visit is known to you know have good quality stuff that's important you know and once that is the case then feel free to make, uh, make use of their prepared food mm -hmm. so there you have it guys thank you for watching another episode of supermarket checkout and be sure to stay tuned while we bring you much more features of our supermarkets in and around our neighborhood yeah, so that is it guys for this episode of Supermarket Checkouts.